Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have something very exciting that I didn't know was coming today. So I wasn't planning on filming, but I wanted to get this video up because I got my ColourPop Animal Crossing collection today. This has been an adventure to get this package. I was a little worried. It's a whole story. <laughs> I'll tell you more about it, but um, it's actually Valentine's Day as I'm filming this and I thought they said the Animal Crossing collection was restocking today. That's why I was like, oh, I better get this, this video up just in case like, you know, people want to get their hands on it. But I just checked the site and it says it's restocking Thursday, February 18th at 10 a.m. PST. Um, and you can sign up on the website um, to get like a reminder. Yeah, you just get to be notified if you give your email. But anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know. So we actually, <laughs> I have a few more days to edit and upload this video, which is good. But yeah, so I got the whole collection, which I didn't need, but in case you were wondering if I'm actually an Animal Crossing fan, here's my Animal Crossing edition Nintendo Switch <laughs> with accessories. So there you go. Yeah, so let's just get started. I thought we'd do like an, an, an unboxing and like a try-on haul, I guess. So I just put my... Um, base makeup on and my eyebrows. I didn't put any highlighter or bronzer even though those don't come in this collection but I didn't want to like mix you know formulas together and then not get a true picture of how these products actually perform so I actually haven't even gone through this box so we're going we're going to do it together but I wanted to show you like even this box is Animal Crossing so it says inside, like there's a message from Tom Nook. It says, I had these made especially for island residents. And I die. And in case you're wondering, like everything is packaged really well with bubble wrap. Um, like everything, well, almost everything is in like individual packaging, which is good. So if you guys didn't know, I am in Canada. So this package shipped internationally and if you are also Canadian, you know the challenges of getting a package shipped to you. <laughs> Even though it's just from the States, which is like, it shares the border. And where I live, we're basically almost in America. Anyway, so this package, um, actually it came very quickly. I think I can tell you like when I ordered it even. It's on in my account if you don't care about this stuff you can skip ahead but I'm always interested as a Canadian I'm interested in knowing how shipping works and if you get charged duties and what like all that's about because sometimes it's like a little scary and you're taking a risk okay so I ordered this on January 28th it was shipped on February 1st and I got it today, February 14th. So that's pretty good. The only thing is like, um, before I had gotten this package, I was tracking it cause I was like really excited about it. And my tracking got canceled and I didn't know what that meant. Like it basically was telling me that my whole shipment was canceled. And I was like, what do you mean? What's going on? because ColourPop actually allows you to pay the duties and like all the taxes and everything in the shipping cost, which I find is really good. Um, and that's like the only reason I do end up ordering from them because otherwise I don't order from sites that I don't know what's gonna happen after. So yeah, I did that, but then when it arrived in, like after it was shipped out of California, it was lost. So I didn't even think, I, honestly, that I was getting this package at all. <laughs> but it showed up, so I'm very happy with that. 
and yeah the shipping so the whole collection was 125 and the shipping which includes prepaid duties and taxes is 25.72 so i mean it's not great <laughs> I shouldn't be spending this much money on makeup, but this is like my my jam. So like fusing makeup with video games is like my life. So anyway, yeah, so that's that in case you were wondering. And like I said, it will be restocking on the 18th. I think it sold out pretty quickly the first time around, but it's like as long as you get to the site like around when it's launching you should be fine because the ColourPop site is really good for that like you when you check out you'll be like in the lineup so as long as you stay on the page you're going to get through which is good so <clears throat> some of you probably didn't care about any of that so i'll just stop talking <laughs> and we'll get into the box um and it actually came with stickers so cute and just like a little thank you note that they put in all their boxes it said thanks a latte so the palettes came like this they weren't bubble wrapped I was a little worried but they come in like a box so you get all four palettes in here and the box is so cute it has all the little villagers on it here why is my camera like not focusing? I honestly thought these were going to be bigger. So this is what the palette looks like for reference. Like it fits almost like in the palm of my hand. So they're small. Um, so this is the Nook Ink palette with Tom Nook. So cute. And the packaging is cardboard, but it's like soft and nice. And the little, um, the little Tom Nooks are a bit raised. And then this is the inside. So even the mirror has Tom Nook. And yeah, I think that's Timmy and Tommy here. Pretty sure. I'm gonna make sure that's in focus. So, yeah, so cute. This is a press glitter. I know people don't like those, so just so you're aware. There is a press glitter in every palette, but yeah, I don't care because I love it. <laughs> and I love all these colors too. Um, then you have La Belle of the Ball. So obviously this one is more like lavender. So cute. Then What a Hoot. Oh, this one has the glitter in a different place. This one's really nice, um, like everyday kind of colors. And then you have Five Star Island with Isabel. This one, the glitter looks a little... It got a little messed up in the package, but this one is like pink. And I'm probably going to keep them in this box, like when I store it in my collection, so that, you know, they're all in one place. So I'll use one of these today. I don't know which one. Then I'll just go, like, whatever is on top. So the first thing here is the Pick of the Bunch Just the Tint Mini Duo. So this one includes coconut juice. Which it, and these are mini sizes in case you didn't catch that. So you have coconut juice and incomparable, like a pear, in this set. So these are the packages. You have the color on the component. So this one is incomparable, and there's pears on the cap, so that's also how you can tell them apart. That smells good. This is the shade, a nice like brownie nude shade. That looks really pretty. I've never tried these before, so I can't tell you 
anything about the formula and like how it wears or anything. And this is coconut juice. Okay, so they actually do smell like what they are. I wasn't sure if they all were gonna smell the same. But no, this one smells like coconut. This is more like a red. Oh, I'm excited. Then the next thing I just pulled out of the box is this. This is so cute. This is the Glitterly Obsessed in Bellionaire. You know, like Belle, because in case you guys didn't know, the money in Animal Crossing is called Bells. Oh my God, this packaging. This is what it looks like. That looks so pretty. Okay, like to be honest, do I normally wear glitter on my face? No. So I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to put these around your eye. It doesn't actually say that anywhere, does it? Wait. Warning for body use only. Okay, so yeah. Um. So yeah, don't put these near your eye, although most people do anyway. But it's just like, you don't want to get chunks of glitter in your eye, obviously, because that's really not good. But yeah, this is so cute. That's what it looks like. Wow, that's so pretty. So obviously it's gold. Um, and it's all gold, there's just like different sizes of glitter in here, so yeah. That's really cute. Okay, next thing is this Balloon Pop Super Shock Shadow. Look at this box. Oh my god. So if you're not familiar with the game, this is actually a present that like hangs from a balloon. And like whenever they're coming, you hear like a whistling in the wind and you're like, oh my god, there's a present coming and then you have to shoot it down. Oh my god, my hair is annoying me. Then you have to shoot it down with a slingshot. And yeah, I just thought this was genius, like how they actually made the box look like the present. And that's why it's called Balloon Pop, in case you didn't know. Uh-oh, I think this broke. That's the packaging. Mm. Yeah, so I knew like something had to have been broken <laughs> and it was unfortunately this but um, this is a super shock shadow so they're kind of like they're almost creamy so I can just like press this back in and it should be fine but yeah that's the shade of it let me so I'm just gonna press it back down this is a really pretty shade it's like a champagne color, if you can see there. Really nice. And this is an Ultra Glitter Super Shock Shadow. So I actually don't know a lot about Super Shock Shadows. I only own one of them. Um, but yeah. Then we have the blush, which I hope is intact. Um, it was in this bubble wrap bag, so it should be okay. I'm assuming. So the first one is called Flower Tender. It's a pressed powder blush. This packaging again, super cute. This is the inside. Yay, it's fine. <laughs> so here's what that blush looks like. Very cute, has the flower pressed in there too. No, these don't smell like anything. And then we have Flower Power. There's the box. Ooh, and this one is like a nice lavender blush, which is pretty unique to my collection. I don't know why I'm smelling everything, <laughs> just in case. And I actually didn't realize this at first, but someone on Twitter pointed out these are actually the shades of blush that you can get in the game, like to put on your character. And I was like, they thought of everything. I wish they did the same thinking for the Sailor Moon collection. Because, uh, as you guys know, if you watch my other videos, when I met, whenever I mention that collection, I always say, like, I wish they made it more different. Like, all the lip bundles were like, almost the same, the blushes are very similar, 
all the packaging was the same like across like for the blush same packaging on both like everything was just very same but for this one they really went all out and they made everything different so it's like yeah they just did this one really well so the last two things are the rest of the just a tint duos so this one is fruit roots and this one has peach surprise and orange cutie these are the shades oh my god i love that they smell like what they are so this one is orange cutie and this one is peach surprise the last one is fruit basket so in this one you get juicy apple and cherry cherry so it's more like red shades obviously so let's see so this one is juicy apple and that's cherry cherry they look really similar on camera but in person juicy apple is more like a fuchsia kind of shade and cherry's more like cherry shade <laughs> you can see that um, but these aren't lipsticks they are called just a tint so they probably will end up looking pretty similar on the lips because they're not like full full pigment kind of but yeah in the swatch they do have color like it's not going to be super super sheer okay so let's try and put something on so for today i'm going to use la belle of the ball which is the purpley lavender one um honestly like Five Star Island would have went better with my <laughs> outfit, but I've done like three pink looks in a row on my channel, so just to like do something different, um, we're gonna do this one. So I'm gonna go in first with the only matte in this quad, which is this one. It's called Serene Sable. Ooh, a lot of kick up in the pan. If that matters to you. Maybe I should zoom you in. So I'm just going like above the crease as usual so that you can actually see the shadow when my eyes open. I don't want like too much color up here because like as you can see it, it's quite like um, a true like purple so I don't want a whole purple eye up to my eyebrow <laughs> but it's blending really nicely um, and then all over the lid I'll probably just use every shade in this palette so first I'll go in with Taylor's Ticket, which is this like lavender shade. I think this is a matte with like shimmer in it. I'm not sure. I'm gonna use this brush. I don't think I've ever used this before. It's from like that Tarte collection that had stars on it. Um, yeah, let's just see if this picks anything up though. It looks, yeah. There's a lot of kick up in the pan. I hope I don't get that everywhere. No, I don't think this is the right brush. Is it? I think I need something denser. Yeah, I need to clean my brushes. I'm gonna go in with this one, which is more like a flat, dense brush. Yeah, that looks like it's picking up the shade better. Yeah, this is a matte with shimmer. Ooh, I like this shade. I mean, I don't really care for these kind of, like, when it's like a matte base and they put glitter in it, because the glitter doesn't stick to your eye. So it just like flies around in the air or like 
falls on your face. So, <laughs> yeah. But I do like the shade of that, and it's very like seamless. It's not patchy or anything, which is good. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go in with this shade, a custom design. I can't really tell. Is that a duochrome? I don't know. And then I'll put this one like in the middle, that which is the glitter shade. So I need another like flat brush. I think this shadow is gonna go on better with my finger. Or actually, no, I think I'm gonna wet the brush. Cause every time I use my finger, I end up getting shadow everywhere and then it ruins everything. So I'm just gonna pick some up with the brush and this kind of formula, I find I have to like, um, do this motion. I don't know how else to say this. Cause if you just like try and go in like this, it doesn't pick it up. So I'm actually like doing this to actually get some on the brush. And then I'm going to spray it with my Milani Make It Dewy just because that's the setting spray in my shop, my stash. Um, we'll see how this goes. Yeah, that's going on better. I can't even like describe what this shade is. It looks almost like it has a blue shift. Um, yeah, it's pretty. I'm not gonna go like all the way to the outer corner. And then with the pressed glitter, I will use my finger because I'm just going to dab it in the center of my eye. Ooh, that's what it looks like. And just kind of like up into the crease. Oh my god, that's so pretty. This has like different color sparkle. I don't know if you can tell. Um, there's like purple and blue, maybe even green. And I'm just gonna go back in with the first brush I used just to put some more of that deeper shade, um, Serene Sable, in the outer corner. But I don't want to blend away anything else, so I'm just going to dab it. Like so. And then just take a clean brush, if I have one. <laughs> just to go along here. I think for the bottom, I'm going to go back in with Taylor's Ticket. I'm going to use that along the lower lash line. I don't want to use the deep purple because I don't want this look to be like super smoky or anything. I really like this shade. If it didn't have the sparkle, which I don't think it needs at all, it's a really nice like pastel purple. I think that's it. Actually, I'm going to go in with the custom design on the inner corner but I'm gonna wet my brush and I'm just gonna bring it down on the bottom lash line too I mean lower whatever you know what I mean <laughs> it's not really brightening as much as I want it to for my inner corner so I think I'm going to go in after with whatever highlighter I end up using. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm doing for now. I'm going to do the other eye off camera to save time. And then we'll come back to do the blush and the lip together. Okay, and I'm back. So I also did my mascara off camera and I may have added more glitter because I put too much on this eye so then I had to even out this one um so I brought it up a bit higher also but I really like that glitter shade 
I didn't think I would because I don't love pressed glitters in palettes but these ones are actually really easy to use because a lot of pressed glitters have like a like a silicone base and they're hard to like move around on the eye but these are super easy to like pick up with your finger and I don't have like glitter all over my face. Any glitter that I did have that fell out was actually from this shade so it's not even the glitter that's falling anywhere. So I'm pretty impressed with that and yeah I really like the colors. Um, yeah. So I like this, at least this quad. I haven't tried the other ones yet but yeah, I really like that one. And it looks like they're all... Maybe also there's another shade where it's like a matte base with glitter in the Tom Nook one, which is this shade here, made in the shade. But the other ones don't have those shades. So the What A Hoot, it's more like a, it has a, two mattes, I believe, and a metallic. And then a press glitter up here. And the Star Island has, oh yeah, I guess it does have this shade here. So for the blush, I think I definitely have to use Flower Power to go with this eye look. Yes. <laughs> this is turning into like a monochromatic lavender look, but that's okay. So it looks like there is like a sheen. I don't know if you can see see that on camera. Yeah, you can. There's like a glittery effect. So let's see how that appears on the skin. I don't really see any glittery flecks. I was a bit worried this might look a bit too pale but it's it has like a nice um flush of color actually i really like it yeah i don't see any glitter it it really came off more like a matte formula nice so there's no bronzer or highlighter in the collection so I'm just going to use what's in my shop my stash for my bronzer I'm going to use my pretty vulgar nesting bitch face palette um, the son of a bee bronzer here I need a bit more bronzer than usual because I'm still trying to like my rare beauty foundation and I think I've decided I don't like it <laughs> It just looks too dry on me and the shade I have is too pale so yeah for my highlighter do I want to use this yeah I'm gonna use the shade forever young from my ABH Nicole Guerrero glow kit okay so that's it for the face. Yeah, I think that highlighter goes well with the eyeshadow and the blush. So for the lips, what do I want to do? Do I want to do a nude? Or, yeah, I think I do. Or a peach. Maybe a peach would be nice. I think this might be a good choice. This is um, Peach Surprise. Peaches are actually my islands. You know, the, the fruit that grows on your island, mine is peaches. So, fun fact. So I'm just going to go right on with this. Let me zoom you out so you can see what I'm doing. These feel super creamy, so 
So I'm trying to be kind of gentle. It smells so good. Oh, I love it. Yeah, super creamy. Almost like a lip balm feel with a tint, which I like. Um, yeah. I guess if you wanted these to last longer, um, you should put a lip liner on first, but yeah, I really like that color and it goes well with the purple eyes, I feel. So let me just put some setting spray. Ugh. I've decided I don't like the sprayer on this Milani Make It Dewy. It's like like the spray is not coming uniformly at me. It's like goes here and here, but it like misses here anyway. Annoying me. So yeah, I guess that's it. I feel like did I forget something? No. I actually remembered to put bronzer on today, so that's good. So yeah, that was my little demo of the ColourPop Animal Crossing collab. I'm really happy with everything, to be honest. Um, I haven't tried all the... Oh, I didn't use the Balloon Pop. Damn. Yeah, I didn't use Balloon Pop, but I don't feel like it goes... I was thinking maybe to use it as like an inner corner, but that's not going to be highlighting because it's more like a, a nude champagne, so yeah. That's the only product I forgot about, but everything else... Oh, and literally it says that I'm not going to put gold sparkle on my eyes because I already have all this going on. So yeah, I think that's it. Um, so like I said, this collection restocks on the 18th if you are interested and you don't have to buy the whole collection. They do sell, I think they were selling the blushes together, everything else I think you can get individually. Okay, so they still actually have the things you can buy on the site so you can get the full collection obviously which comes with the sticker set. Um, you can get all the eyeshadows individually. They're $12 each. The blush you can get individually. Those are also $12. You can get all four um, eyeshadow palettes for $48. You can get all the, the lip tint mini kit set for $36. And you can get um, the the Super Shock Shadow and the Bellionaire together for 17 Yeah, so there's a lot of... Yeah, you can even get these separate. So this is $7, the Super Shock Shadow. And the Bellionaire is $10. Yeah, and then you can get the lip kit separately, the blush together, and so on. So, so many variations. It just depends, like, what's going to be in stock. I have a feeling it might sell out again if it's, like, the Sailor Moon collab. So, yeah, if you're interested, definitely leave your email. But, yeah, that's it for today. I hope you liked this video. Maybe you found it helpful. If you did, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!